Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now we're going to try a new game, and as you've seen from the intro, it's called Marvel's Midnight Suns. It was recently available for free on Epic Games, so I thought I'd give it a try, also on recommendation from my friend. I'm only playing the base game, I haven't purchased any DLCs, and I've never tried this game before. The only thing I know about this game from Wikipedia is it's a tactical RPG, so potentially similar in vain to War Tales. But I don't know whether it's open world, so let's find out together. Okay, uh, looks like we have four options. Whoops, let's go back. So I gotta do, ah, okay, gotta click on these arrows. Okay, so story, for those who want to take in the story of the Midnight Suns and operate in with impunity in combat. Enemy health negative 25%. Enemy offense, negative 33%, infinite revives per mission, hero combat injuries disabled, hero XP 0%, and mission goal bonus. Gloss bonus 0%. I don't know what gloss bonus is. Normal starting point for players new to Midnight Suns. Okay, basically no uh, decreases to enemy health or offense. You get two revives per mission and you get extra 25% mission gloss bonus. Oh, this is locked. Okay, so we don't really have a choice for all the increased difficulty. Okay, which is makes it easier. Um, I'd probably just go with normal. And we'll see how we go. Um, yes, we'll play tutorial mission, because I don't know what this is. And let's go ahead. So yeah, so we finished War Tales. We did th two seasons overall. Um, we had a pilot series as well. That didn't end well because I died pretty early. Pretty excited about this one. You know how much I hate this hocus pocus nonsense, Faustus. Now you want to tell me just what the hell is so important? Sleeping mother, sacred harbinger, awaken and reclaim what is yours. You who rise with the moon in darkness, who prepares the path for the midnight sun. Turn your merciless eyes upon us and arise! Nice show, Doc. Next time, call Zemo. Better yet, I'll just shoot you and save us all the trouble. That was a pretty cool intro. Um, reminds me, Lilith's face obviously reminds me of Diablo 4. I played that as well. Six months later. I can feel it, Rox. Trouble in the air. More innocent blood joining you soon. Head back to your magic castle, you ain't welcome here. It's called a sanctum. And welcome or not, this is where fate has determined the Sorcerer Supreme needs to be. Tell fate 
Answer's no. This is the secret guardian you dragged me 5,000 miles to meet? Who's the mouth? Mr. Stark is brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? The fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. The prophecy of the Midnight Sun is upon us. Your last crusade cost me plenty. This time, I intend to look after my own. Hey, pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I look like someone who gives a damn about any of that? No, you look like you should be bouncing for the double deuce. Listen, all I know is hell's coming, and my pal here says you can help. That's where you're wrong. Hell's not coming. It's already here. You're welcome, Robo-Man. Iron Man? It's okay. It's fine. I know what he meant. Okay, cool. Um, out here, and the old man runs off with that precious page of yours. Uh, could have at least left us some VIP passes for the carnival. Maybe blown up a few monsters on the way out. Johnny Blaze has sacrificed a great deal for this world already. I am certain he will come around given time. So this is time was the one thing we didn't have. Uh, all right, let's just wrap this up. I got about sand in my nanopolymer weave. Okay, I'm trying not to interrupt the. Uh, dialogue so uh, having to pause here and there but this is pretty cool i am a big fan of marvel or even superhero um i guess not, not just marvel even dc comics but this is cool i really, really love spider-man iron man um so we'll see how this goes it's got it's impressed me already from the beginning the the um voice actors seem to be pretty good so this is the tutorial i suppose we have playing cards, how to play. There are three main types of cards which represent hero abilities, attacks, skills, and heroics. Playing a card costs one card play. Okay, select an ability card with left mouse button to activate it. Then select a target with left mouse button to confirm the ability. Um, each turn you receive three play cards. So basically if I use, hold on, playing a card costs one card play. Each turn you receive three cards, so I can play three cards per turn, I guess. We'll try it out. So we get because we have three card plays here. Attack cards. How to play? Use attack cards to damage enemies and gain heroism. Attack cards damage enemies. All attacks grant one heroism when used. Some attacks have added effects like knockback and stun. Okay. So I got three card plays. So I have blast. These are attacks. Okay. This is heroism. Damage every enemy, that's heroic. Heroic. Okay, so if I use this, um, does it matter who I boss? What's that? Targeting Doctor Strange. Okay, he's targeting Doctor Strange. What about you? Targeting Iron Man. You're targeting Doctor Strange? Targeting Iron Man. What's this green thing in the middle? Too far? Hmm. What is that green thing? See, it, it, that appears. Oh, he. Oh, okay, okay, I gotcha. So he moves to forward, I guess. We'll try, we'll try. Okay, yes, he moves forward. And he blocks. Hey, oh. Okay, I gotcha. That makes sense. Um, I've got. Where is the heroism? Okay, here. Kind of transparent here. So if I blast this guy. Wait, I gotta select a card. KO. Who designed your armor? Because it looks like junk. Am I really gonna have to bring out the big guns for this? Okay, so now heroism and hero heroic cards, how to play. Heroic cards are powerful and decisive. Playing heroic cards requires heroism. Tip gain heroism by playing attack and skill cards, okay? Um but I can't play this, right? If I could I for more info. Okay. Got it. Can I exit? But I thought 
Wait. How many cards? Okay, I can do three cards. Okay, the number doesn't matter. It doesn't mean anything. I thought maybe the one in some card games. The number up represents, um, I guess, how many cards. How many points per card in a way that you can play. So in this case, it doesn't matter. It's just three cards. So confirm ability. Oh, you don't need targeting. It attacks everything. Right. Okay. Ending the turn. Uh, once you've played your cards, use X to finish your turn. Gotcha. Then in my turn. Okay. You gotta hold on to it, not just tap it. Four reinforcements. Okay, now we have. Minions and elites. There are two types of enemies, minions and elites. Minions have no health and damage. Defeat them instantly. They are frail but still dangerous. Elites have higher health totals and require more damage to defeat. Use attack and heroic cards wisely. High damage cards may be wasted on minions. Yeah, makes sense. That suit may be a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. So, to three cards. The contest now. Then you take the extra creepy one. Gladly. Okay, that's kind of a bit of banter between two of them. So we now have Winds of Watoom from Doctor Strange. Knockback, and this one is just a normal blast. Why does it have five here? And this one has nothing. What does the... is that the attack skill? I'm confused with this one. Knockback, okay. I'll go to the next one. This five here. Okay. Axe of Angarumus. So doing this one gives you one of the heroism, and doing this gives you one two, and then this one costs two heroism basically. Okay, gotcha. Uh, so I use Doctor Strange. Some cards have the knockback effect. After selecting a target, aim the knockback direction to view potential impact points. From the direction with left mouse button to push the enemy unit. Try knocking enemies into objects, heroes, or other enemies for extra damage. Okay. Um, can I move somewhere else? No, I can't. So, okay. If I do that. Okay, knock into him. Okay, oh. One died. But he's still. Alive, he's got half health around half health. Isn't enough to scare off these so called children of Lilith. Um, he can't do a knockback. Let's do this. Okay, only half health. Now we can use heroism. Axe of Angar Anger Rumus. So he will go near. What does it do? It doesn't tell me anything. What does it do? Before I use it, I guess. We just try. It's a tutorial. Uh huh. Overkill. Well, I guess. Okay, I thought it was a multi skill. But I guess I should have just killed him and used the axe on this guy. Now. You're gonna get attacked. Ouch. Oh, that was only two. Not too bad. Oh, they're both going for Iron Man. Reinforcement's coming. Four, five. Oh, sure. Pick on the smart guy. Target previews. At the start of each turn, hero icons will appear above each enemy, showing who that enemy intends to attack. Use this information to determine which enemies to defeat first, or which heroes to defend. In this case, Doctor Strange is in danger. See what you can do to assist him. Okay. Perhaps a blessing is in order. Something protective? Well, I could give you a hand, or a shield uh, in this case. In the spirit of cooperation, okay. I'll accept your offer. Just this once. Heads up. Uh, don't mention it. Dude, skill cards. Use skill cards to control the battle and gain heroism. Skills provide powerful supplemental effects like healing, damage boost, and drawing cards. Skills do not generally deal damage. Skills are a great way to build heroism for powerful attacks. They provide more heroism than attack cards. Interesting. So this one provides two heroism. Um, and these ones provide one each. So if I go give it to him. He's got armor now. Oh, cool. 
I like that effect. Oh. I wish it lingered, lingered though. Knockback. So we knock this guy, he will die. Knock him against that, I guess. Uh, does he? Knock? What will that do? Okay, KO for one. And I think we can get rid of these two. Alright, if we do this, knock back. Here. Oops. No, can we cancel? Can we knock it this way? Yeah, no, we can't. It's a waste. Um, because of where he's standing, I guess? Yeah. Okay, uh, then we gotta get rid of him. Yeah. A moment of it's a waste. Yeah. And turn. Okay, that takes away five of the armor that Iron Man gave him. That's two. So elite deals five. Okay, four more. Okay, so here, that's heroism. Uh, let's see. Can we zoom out? No. Interesting. The spell changed the very so I think of something along the lines of the psionic manipulations of Eros of Titan. You can't make it happen in the uh, next 10 seconds. I'm not interested. Go here. Okay, we can hit him. Let's do that first. Okay, half each. That's good. I'm skeptical of your chances. Um, and then we'll do air superiority. Let's try it. Okay, cool. So how many left? Is there anywhere that tells me how many? So three enemies KO'd? Okay. I can't zoom out, unfortunately. Um, the blast? Because they're going for... He's still got armor, right? So we'll just go blast this guy. Because he's aiming for Iron Man. Environment attacks. Environment attacks. Many objects on the battlefield can be used to your advantage with environment attacks. Environment attacks cost heroism but do not use a card play. Interesting. These three attacks are useful. Use them wisely to score important knockouts. No. Tip number one, try using one or more rocks to wipe out extra enemies. Tip number two, environment objects will glow when they can be used to attack a nearby enemy. Cost heroism but do not use a car play. Okay, okay. Okay, because we got extra heroism, right? So we could... And it costs one heroism. We can knock this guy out. Interesting. Any more? Uh, are, we, are we ending our turn? I guess I can't see anymore. Okay. And our turn. More reinforcements. We'll more to, to learn. More, I'm afraid. Probably still won't be enough, but you can try. Oh, okay, I not bad. Which is good. I might have told Pepper I was just stepping outside the restaurant to take okay, a yep. call. Okay, double KO. Love the um, we can just blast this guy. Let's do it. You just got knocked the fuck out. You know the rest. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, that's not too bad. It's pretty cool. If I'm being honest, that encounter went better than I expected. Tony, I've been noticing a recurring gamma spike. You see, this is why you shouldn't eat spicy food, Bruce. Localized in the West Village, converging on the Sanctum. Wanda. Scarlet Witch. The collective works of the universe's greatest sorcerers, and he left them underneath the takeout menus. <sighs> Shifting mystical polarities are wreaking havoc on my portals. You don't say. You okay, kid? Yes. Are you? 
Let's uh, put a pin in that. Oh. Carol. Bruce and I have been trying to reach you. He'd have come himself, but he's. Well, you did the big green guy proud. <laughs> Shut up my homeowner's insurance. Miss Maxim, the wards of protection, if you please. Stephen, I can fight. I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. Cool. Uh... Ready to smack around a few red shirts? Nice one, Carol. Always the direct approach. Okay, so... No, I don't mess around. Besides, we picked up some crazy gamma readings coming from, well, here. Guessing okay. that explains the Hydra goons and ominous green lights. Use tap yes, but not to quickly switch between targets when a car is selected. Um, hi, how about we discuss proper hero landing etiquette after we take down the bad guys? Let me let me know, guys, if you want to want me to stay silent when they have this banter, or if you just want me to keep continuing. Um, yeah, be interested to know what you prefer. So we're gonna do a bit of a knockback. Do they have health? They don't really have health. So one hit die. One hit. Oh wait, that rock. Can use heroism, right? So let's just knock them back let's against each other. Go. Okay, so two gone. Fair enough. Um. Mm, okay, he. Okay, I didn't realize they have health. It's annoying. I'm saving my energy till we need it. Okay. Impressive. Reuse redraw to replace undesirable cards in your hand. Highlight a card to redraw, then hold R to replace it with a new one. The new card is random, but it may be more immediately useful. The last card in your hand, Photon Beam, costs 3 Heroism to use, but you only have 2 Heroism available. Try using Redraw on it. Okay, you can only do 1 Redraw. Okay, let's Redraw. Oops. Redraw. Attack. It's just a jab. Interesting. Um, you know what? Before we do that... Oh wait, I think we can, so hold on, we can jab first. Watch this. Right. KO. And then we can use heroism here to smack this guy. How do we swap between... Ah, okay. We can get Iron Man to do it. Okay, so tabbing. And that's the health bar and the armor. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, can't do anything, so enter. Ooch, it's five. Hostile reinforcements inbound. Okay, we have moving heroes. Use move to reposition or a hero and set up a perfect knockback angle. Oh, yep, that's what I want. Aero effect attack or environment attack. Instructions select any location on the ground with left mouse button to enter move mode. Okay, select again at the desired location to confirm move. Each time you each turn you have one free move. The currently selected hero will execute the move. Tip try moving a hero into position to kick the couch at the enemy units. Okay, this couch. So move here. Okay. Gotcha. Use tab to switch between heroes. Um, no, 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 no. How do I? Okay, okay. So I was trying to just move, uh, and I thought, just like War Tales, you left click, hold left click, and then you move around the map. But it's really the WASD uh, button. So if we go here, move here, and then kick this. Yep, I, I want to kick this. Who do I hit? Oh, I hit quite a few of them. Use two heroism to do that. Um, uh, that way. Oh, we only hit two. 
Up to five cards will be drawn to fill your hand at the start of each turn. Consider which cards to play and which cards to redraw or keep for future turns. So a zero heroism. And we have three cards. Ooh. Draw the last two attacks played. Start next turn with four card plays. Okay, cool. That, that's cool. I'll keep that. Knockback. I'll keep the knockback. Do I need to redraw? I don't think I need to redraw. But let's redraw jab, jab. Let's just see what that does. What it gives us. A uh, new plan. What is that? Hey, let me see. Double your current heroism. Oh, okay. Uh, don't need that. Let's do a knockback. Oh, we can't move though. Because Iron Man already moved. Ah, I should have redrawn that one instead. Um, what's this? Hmm. Let's just do attack. I'm saving my energy till we need it. Oh, that it was nothing. Um. Oh, you all have health. That's annoying. I'm sure this doesn't, yeah, knockback doesn't go the way I want. Um, in that case we'll go here. He's going for Strange, which is fine. Uh, Doctor Strange, let's go for this guy. Using your knockback attack. Not that we're knocking back against anyone, unfortunately. Okay, yeah. You still alive? Oh, come on. So, okay, I get you. So he doesn't actually hurt anyone. Because it's just a knockback. What are you going to do? Oh, man. Wow. Ouch. I mean, she fought against Thanos and didn't die. She can't die to guns. Sure, just keep throwing bodies at the problem. Okay, photon beam. Okay, use what you have learned to wipe out Hydra's forces in Sanctum. That's the end. Damage each enemy in a line. Aha, uh -huh, you can get three. Can I get three? Let's try this. Okay, I didn't get three. Did I? Oh, they did. Okay. Um, hmm. I can get. Now, if you move here, how far is your knockback? Yeah, no, it's not gonna reach that guy. So, forget it. I'm gonna redraw one. I'm gonna redraw this. It's useless. Yeah, it's kinda crappy. Let's just do jab him. Um, and I guess we will... I know that wasn't your signature move. There's nothing we can do. We just double it. Here we go. Don't mind okay. You. Now we get two. And turn. Get out of there. They told you to get out of here. You're still here. Okay. So they all pretty much the same. We're three of the world's strongest here. Right. Doesn't it seem like this should be easier? I punched through scroll star cruisers that went down. Which is something's up. Clearly raise their game. I have a terrible suspicion. Okay. That's the spirit. Okay. I might skip at some point some of the um the wards. Something's blocking them. Not Attack effects. Something. Graphics. Someone. Lilith. Gozer? Lilith. Mother of demons. Harbinger of the Midnight Sun. Prophecy or not, you overstep. Challenging the Sorcerer Supreme. Be silent. Be 
kill. What just happened? Ow! Be gone. No! A fellow daughter of Transia. You remind me of my own beloved. In virtue de Vishanti! Well done, Miss Maximoff. Your unique energy surprised her. Whoa! <laughs> I'm fine. What? I'm fine. The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the midnight sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. I won't go back there. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, one of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. Gameplay tip. To upgrade any ability, combine it with a second unequipped copy of that ability. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. So it's pretty cool. Um... It's, yeah, no, no, it's actually very, very interesting. I like these characters. I really love okay. these characters. The fabric of magic is unwinding. We are fortunate to be here at all. And where is here, exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. Well, a pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, suburbs. Nice. Welcome to the Abbey. Home of the Midnight Sun. What the hell is this? Lilith's Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Which one? Now, if everyone would just take a moment. Enough! You're standing on my flowers. Oh, it's been a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but... Oh, spare me the speech. I know Lilith's back. We are sisters after all. <laughs> Guess we're suddenly invisible now. Shall we chat, Stephen? No one can argue that the Hunter earned their rest in the first battle against Lilith. I only hope they are up for the task once more. You wizards always make everything sound so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me to dig them up and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, I am no common grave robber. We are simply reuniting their ethereal essence with their corporal form. Speaking of, it would help to have a mental image for the procedure. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity theft is no laughing matter. Okay, I get the gist of it. Looks like we are... Lilith's daughter? Um... Okay, and we are being resurrected or woken up to kill her? Interesting. Um, hmm, what should I do? Green? Yeah, green looks good. Ponytail looks good. Uh, no, that, that, that's not good. Hold on. Wait, what happened? Can I go back? Escape, go back. No curly hair. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, maybe. Nope. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, hmm. Mm, volume. Wow. Luscious hair. No. No hair. No. Too bold. No. Buzz cut. No. This one's not too bad. Pixie. No, no. Pixie. Fringe. I kind of like either the half pony or this. This one. We'll go with high fade. Um. Uh, no, not that. No. Too tacky. 
Yeah, this one's not too bad. Eyebrows color, that can stay. Facial hair, yeah, I prefer clean. Confirm character, I guess. What's wrong with the collar? Sarah. Where is she? As far as resurrection spells are concerned, I've seen worse. Particularly on myself. Tony, come on. It's perfectly safe. That thing wakes up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. Visiting hours are over. You can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade. Be nice. Always am. It's cool to see all the uh, uh, other characters. Although I don't recognize anyone else except Blade. Part 1, The Awakening. Cool. with every breath. Has it been so long? Is everyone still alive? Where's everyone? I know this place. In my dreams it was always empty. I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute, and caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer, I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes, I saw you with Sarah before. But what would she want with a vampire, unless... The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, but I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A Dampir. Daywalkers were a myth, even to me. Says the half-human, half-demon monster hunter. Ooh, okay. Uh, we can respond. You seem to know a lot about me. That still doesn't explain you. You're right, I do hunt monsters. Well, this one, I'll go with this one. You seem to know a lot about me. You appear quite versed in my history, Dampir. Heard my fair share of stories from Caretaker. The legendary hunter. Child of Lilith. Last champion of the blood. Some call you angel, some demon. Probably a little of both. Led the Knights of Wondagor against the armies of darkness until you fell at... Fell? Shoot. This is why they don't normally have me do the meet and greets. I can see why. Right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, 
The others are really going to love you. Others? Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one. Okay. Blade is now available for combat missions. Okay, so we can move around to speak to Nico. Heroes. One is heroes. So we've got Blade. Health, 55. Offense, 10. Critical chance, critical damage. Okay, 42. Increases the percentage of maximum health granted as block at the start of each mission. Okay, power. Increases the size of area abilities. Size of area, okay. Resilience increases the chance to resist negative status effects. Strength increases knockback distance. Interesting, the way they use these attributes that I normally am more familiar with in other RPGs is very different. Willpower increases the percentage of maximum health recovered at the start of each turn. Okay, so you can recover health. Um, his deck is quick strike. I'm guessing that sword, the five sword. Uh, the five, number five in, in the sword icon thing is the how powerful the skill is, I guess. So one, one quick strike. Chain two. Okay, so he attacks two at a time, make him bleed, draw one card. The next two damage cards apply to bleed. Okay. So basically, you, you sacrifice one card draw in a way by drawing one card and the next two damage cards apply to bleed. Damage cards, it has to be blades damage cards. Okay, I was wondering what that symbol was. Stake, lifesteal. Cool, he can do lifesteal. Okay. Um, friendship level is 0.15. So I wonder that, what that does. Anyway, customization. We can't customize it. So he's the hero's profile. Um, missions together, joint activities, gifts given, haven invites, requests fulfilled. After his mother was attacked by a vampire during childbirth, Eric Brooks, now known as Blade, was born a damp dampier, half human, half em vampire. Fearsome vigilante stories of the Daywalker haunt his enemies as Blade relentlessly pursues vampires wherever they may hide. While he prefers to work alone, Blade has been known to work with like-minded allies from time to time. So, first time I uh, was introduced to this character, well, the superhero was uh, when Sle Wesley Snipes played the character in Blade 1, 2, 3. Uh, enemies KO'd. Cool. Make him bleed. Okay. How to play. Blade excels at dealing damage, especially damage over time through his ability to apply the bleeding status on to his targets. Interesting. But when they say bleeding, make him bleed. They don't say how long and how much the bleed is for. Oh, wait. View ability details. Um, this one? Use damage at the end of the turn. Show upgrade. Draws two cards. Okay, that's if you upgrade it. Fine. What else do we need to know? What else can we do here? Um, inventory. Abilities. Resources. Okay. Resources are gathered throughout the abbey and can be used to train heroes, unlock new outfits, and craft new abilities. Okay. Attack essence. There's still magical enemy. Energy connected heroes attack abilities. Okay, hero essence and skill essence. Okay. Um, I'm guessing credits is just money, right? Ooh, look, oh, look. Well, I should have clicked that. Okay, so if I click this, I can see this better. So attack essence used for creating attack, modifying attack abilities, crafting attack abilities. The sources is salvaging attack abilities, studying artifacts and missions. Okay, same thing pretty much. We can purchase room upgrades with credit, daily sparring, combat therapy, missions, arcane chess. Interesting. Um, so now re reagents, nothing. Masterworks, collections, gifts, quest items, and combat items, which you don't have any. Okay. Settings. Oh, right. No, it's fine. Map. That's where we are. Okay, that's the Abbey. That's where Nico. Nope, that's Blade. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah? Sarah, I guess. What is Superlink? Oh, it's a communicator. Okay, so we keep going, I guess. Can we zoom out? Oh, 
So if I scroll, I accidentally hit this by scrolling. So scrolling just gives you the objectives again. I just was trying to scroll the scroll out. Don't know if, I, if you, any of you remember, but I mentioned that I get a bit motion sick when the field of vision is a bit narrow when it comes to first person views. This kind of third person view, but it's a bit narrow. Helped, but no, that's so she's Nico. Hunter. Not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before. I'm the witch who called me back from the grave. Told you. Or Nico, but neither works. And this is Robbie Ray is. <laughs> oh man, never thought I'd be standing next to you. Got quite a rep. I mean, caretakers told us stories. That's Eliana. Privet. And I think you already met Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Well, how did you? Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So, welcome home. I guess we... I never left. Right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know, the Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and, uh, whatever the hell the forge is. I have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay, spend 10 minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, <clears throat> gotta go. Show's about to begin. Okay, uh, mirror table, select a mission. Experience is enough. This must be the finger of the table. Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look older. How long was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. Uh, yeah, so speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? That's my name. Tony, that's uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? <sighs> Smiting the dragon mother? <laughs> you tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is... hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. What? Straight to voicemail? Some sorcerer supreme. Must be mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. Alato. Whoa, what kind of network you run in there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges. 
bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call up the mirror table. Wanda! The dark force pushing against the wards. Stephen, where are you? That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. I'll go. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt begins now. <laughs> Dr. Spooky. <laughs> the caretaker. The voice. Reminds me of... The, the machine in Captain Marvel? The one... The, the woman that appears in, in Captain Marvel's dreams. Personalities too. I think you mean big egos. But none of that matters unless they can help us get to Wanda. Okay. Sanctum Symbiotum. Story mission. Rewards. Gamma Coil. Common. With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford to lose contact with the Sanctum or Wanda. 1690s, maybe. Hard to believe she's the hunter's mother. Resemblance dwindles when one is twisted. Okay, uh, I don't know how long this dialogue goes on, but basically the Sanctum Sanctorum contains many powerful artifacts which must be protected. Doctor Strange needs to return to the Sanctum, find Scarlet Witch, and stabilize the ward. So we have three heroes. Doctor Strange, or Doctor Spooky, Blade, and me. Okay. Oh, dude. His hands being close to together, Doctor Spooky just doesn't make him look like a Doctor Strange that's portrayed by a Benedict. So in, in the Marvel super, uh, Marvel movies, okay. Um, combat items. I don't have any combat items. I don't think. So we just confirm this deck. Okay. Even given the fluctuations in the astral, be seeing something. Let's go talk to him. Unless Bruce is right about gamma interference. <laughs> if such a thing could even exist. Just go to map first. Uh, nothing. So we just go talk to him. Such a reaction. Or, talk. Are you ready? The prophecy of the midnight sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the dark hold. If she forced her way into my sanctum sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Ah, <sighs> fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time, a Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. Uh, don't worry, Doctor. We'll save your home. Can your apprentice withstand Lilith? What's so important about the Sanctum? Whatever, um... Hmm... What's so important about the Sanctum? Place significant faith in a building. Building? The Sanctum Sanctorum is the mystical focal point of a thousand Earths. Its wards weave and protect the very thread of the tapestry of creation. Its shelves house manuscripts written by the gods themselves. And it is the entirety of that wisdom, the entirety of that power, that falls to me, Stephen Strange, to command. At least it did. Until today. All right, I understand. You do not trust your apprentice to defend your home. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. Oh, <laughs> I got negative one friendship XP. We should hurry. As much as I'd love to hear a first-hand account of your exploits, time is of the essence, I'm afraid. Okay, so... 
we will have our first mission. Oops, I keep doing that scrolling because I keep wanting to zoom out. So I didn't realize that depending on the dialogue you select, you would have. You, I guess you could improve relationships, but you could also make it worse. So we chose the wrong one and we made it worse with Doctor Strange. But it looks like you can't go negative, which is good. If we go to heroes. Uh, relationship is still zero. Good thing we learned early. Otherwise, we'd be in trouble. Okay, so we need to know his abilities as well. Um, we've played with these two in the tutorial. So, Blessing of the Vigianti. Give hero cards in your hand plus five damage until played or discarded. Cool. Okay. What we'll do, because um, we are near the end of this episode, we won't start the mission until the next episode. But all in all, it seems very promising. Um, graphics aren't like super super awesome in like in some games but i actually don't mind it i'd rather it be like this because my computer is not the best computer it allows me to play it but what i'm really more interested in is the battle the story um and the abilities so that's it for this episode and until next time i'll see you take care bye